Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. I think I'm ready for a vacation. Ideally, I would like to be at a lake, maybe with such a little boat as you can see here behind me. That would be cool. If you just leave the boat alone on the lake, then nothing will happen. It just stays in the same place. But if we pull the boat just a little, then it begins to move slowly. If we pull stronger, the boat will move faster. I think everybody knows that, of course. But if scientists investigate such things, they love to draw diagrams, just like the one you can see behind me. In the diagram, we see the pulling power on the vertical axis and the resulting boat speed on the horizontal axis. And the curve in the diagram is called a flow curve. If the flow curve is a straight line, which runs through the origin of the chart, then we are dealing with a Newtonian fluid. Water is such a Newtonian fluid. But there are other non-Newtonian fluids. Something like this. Ketchup. Um, everyone has used ketchup at some point. Ah, oh, what's happening? Well, you can see it here in this flow curve. The ketchup requires a certain force to be applied until it starts to flow. The flow curve does not start in the origin of the chart, but in a certain distance further up. That means that a certain force is required to get it to move, and this force is what we call yield strength. Now you must be thinking, what has this to do with drilling engineering? In drilling engineering, we use a drilling mod, and this drilling mod has similar properties like our ketchup. When the drilling mod is in motion, we want the flow resistance to be low, and the mod should flow easily. But when for some reason the pump is turned off, the drilling mod should quickly form a gel so that the drilling curtains are suspended and will not settle down. So we want the viscosity of our drilling mod to vary with flow conditions. Okay, so how can we measure viscosity? There's a special measuring device called a fan viscosimeter, and it works just as you can see here in this sketch behind me. We fill in the liquid we want to measure into a cup, and then we rotate a cylinder in this fluid. The drive power we need to maintain a certain number of revolutions per minute is a measure of the viscosity of the fluid. So let's see how our experts in laboratory do it. It's your, it's your turn, gentlemen. Here in our drilling lab, we show tixotropy. The flow curve is characterized by viscosity. We just change the RPM, it's easy and no trick. See the flow curve on the chart, wow, that was real quick. As you see, the flow curve we determined here in this experiment looks like that of the ketchup seen earlier. But there are also other liquids with other properties. If you want to learn more about rheological properties of such liquids and how we use them in practice to our benefit during drilling, then come to our lecture on drilling mods and cement here in Freiburg. We look forward to seeing you. Glück off!